Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I'd like to introduce you to the basics of using the AND and OR logic functions. Okay, so I've got a little basic spreadsheet set up here where I've got a series of numbers, and I've also got a series of colors. Red, white, and blue, numbers uh, 10 through 100, so various numbers. Now I want to use the AND function to determine uh, an AND statement being true. And for an AND statement to be true, then two or more various items need to be true. So let's check this out. Equals and. Okay, so my first logical test is going to be, is the number greater than 50? Comma. The second thing that I want to test for that must match up, um, how about is the color equal to white? Okay, now when I press this I'll get a true or false. Now I get a false here because my number is not greater than 50 and my color is not white. Go ahead and autofill this down. So here we go. Number is greater than 50 and the color is white. Number is greater than 50 and the color is white. So I have two true statements out of the 10 that I have available to me. Only two true statements. Keep in mind, for this one, number is greater than 50, but the color is not equal to white, so I get a false. So there we go. Number must be greater than 50, and the color must be equal to white. Now let's try an OR statement that's pretty similar. Equals OR. First logical test is, is the number greater than 50, comma, the next one will be, is the color equal to white. Now in this one, either of these items could be true. Let me autofill down. Notice I have a lot more true results. Number is greater than 50, or the number is greater than white. Actually, ha both happen to be true. It's a true statement. Here we go, the next one. Number is greater than 50, color is blue. That's okay, because it's an or statement. Either the number is greater than 50, or the color is equal to white. So, more true situations here with an or. Now, let's combine them a bit here. So, I'm going to do an and statement. And the thing I'm going to test for first is, is the color greater than 50, comma. Now, for the other part of my AND statement, I'm going to have an OR statement. So I'm going to have an OR statement within the AND statement. And for the OR, the color can be equal to white, or the color can be equal to red. Now I'm going to press Enter. Auto fill down, and let's see if we get any true statements. And we do get a couple of them here. I get greater than 55, and then it's either white or red, so that's true. And here we go, another one. Greater than eight, uh, greater than 50 or 86, it's also white or red, so that's true. Well, let's do another little experiment, experiment here. Since this statement says number is greater than 50, and then the color can be white or red, that means I should be able to go to this line right here where it's 28 in red. If I change this number 28 to something greater than 50, I should get a true. Okay, let me go ahead and bold this just to bring your attention to it. So I'm going to change 28 to 58. Sure enough, switches over to true because it is now one of the two acceptable colors, red or white. So that's a little bit of basics with the AND and OR functions. And then the next video that's out there, it's a more realistic, complicated use of AND and OR functions with uh, pay rates and bonuses.